here. It almost seems like the markets are okay being here with bad trade headlines because it knows that, it, that the bar is very high for the Fed to do anything at this point. Yes. No, I agree. I, I mean, I think actually the, the Fed is what's being ignored here, right? I mean, I think what happens with interest rates just doesn't matter at this point. I think we've had all the stimulus we can possibly have. So I think the trade war is still pretty important because that's about capital expenditure. And that's a big part of GDP. And if we can get clarity around that, I mean, I think that's just a huge catalyst for the market here. Why are we okay then hovering around all-time highs, even with bad, bad trade war headlines? Because the economy is awesome. <laughs> if you look at unemployment as low as it is, you look at wages going up. It's not 3%, up. Ryan. Uh, it doesn't have to be 3%, Phil. You know, we don't have to do that a, a, It's the best house in a bad neighborhood, certainly, around the world. Yeah. But is it that bad? I mean, with historically no, low unemployment, so. I mean, this is, the economy is doing great. Is it about the, the best house in a bad neighborhood, or do you want to be in the bad neighborhood that shows the potential for inflection? I think your point, the latter point is a better point. It is the expectation is now built in that this trade war is not going to actually get to as bad as what people think just because we've got elections coming up. And I think people are expecting that something will come out of this. But on the other side of that, if you look at kind of the rest of the world potentially turning around as well, and where do you want to be if the rest of the world turns around? Right here, because we've got the global multinationals, we've got the ability to grow our earnings. And the market's really saying, look, the only way we're going to go ahead now is earnings going up, because multiples are already at 17 times. Interest rates we know are going to be low, so where do you want to be? And I think investors have to really look and say, look, growth has been really the way to be for the last 10 years. Do you want to be just in growth, or do you kind of want to balance it with some value at this point? Because really, when you look at multiples, the financials, home building products kind of areas that are at 10, 12 times earnings versus some of the 25 to 30 PEs. Yeah, they're supported by low interest rates, but what happens when you actually have rates moving up on the back end? I'm talking about the 10-year, things like that. That's kind of where the money could go. Look, if rates move and the 10-year moves to over two, I think you're going to have a reshuffle in the market again. Yeah, I mean, what does that do to bonds as well? I mean, you look at all the money that went into bond funds this summer, um, and you start seeing rates go up, like you look at that TLT of the 20... Five year plus treasury index, it's already down 10% in like a month. Um, but you so trade think, with a huge put, don't you? I mean, uh, the bar for the Fed to raise.